Let's look at a play and see when we reach too far, a foul may not be a foul. Here's our matchup to watch. The defender in white has obtained a legal guarding position with both feet on the floor facing the opponent. Now let's look at our positioning in areas of responsibility. Let's start with the center position. And now the lead. This play belongs to the center official. Every time we blow the whistle, we need to be able to answer the question, what did the player do wrong? The primary official here, the center, has allowed the play to develop and finish with a no call. The lead, however, steps in with a foul. Is the lead able to answer the question, what did the defender do wrong? Was the ball handler's rhythm, speed, balance, or direction affected? Was the foul egregious and needed to be called? The foul here does not appear to affect the ball handler's rhythm, speed, balance, or direction, and certainly is not egregious. We need to have a patient whistle, allow plays to start, develop, and finish. We need to know our primary areas of responsibility and trust our partners.